The third letter was written to Jolanda Joe Jones, Houston City Council member, um, August 12, 2009. Dear Jolanda Joe Jones, we have been overbilled by the City of Houston Water Department since 2007. We have been disputing the overbilling for nearly two years. We believe the overbilling is a form of retaliation for ferreting out and exposing corruption at all levels of local and state government. We were forwarding a letter that we received from Daryl Wright of the Officer of the Inspector General. Due to the tone of the letter, the recent negative press over the actions of the Inspector General, and the corruption and cover-up, we are standing against the city, county, and state levels, which all have been carefully documented. We believe that the office of the Inspector General is poised solely to protect the city of Houston and not us. If other city of Houston water utility customers are being overbilled as we are, then it appears that the City of Houston Water Department is involved in racketeering and mail fraud, which would be more corruption. Ms. Jones, we have contacted you on several times concerning corruption, but we have not received any response from you. As a council member at large, will you help us? Sincerely, Richard McDonald, Ivy Rashke, and Derek S. Roberts. The final letter was dated December the 22nd, 2009, just five days ago. Dear Jolanda Joe Jones, we have contacted you on several occasions concerning overbilling by the City of Houston Public Works and Engineering Water Department. As of the date of this letter, the water service at 5322 DeLang Lane has been dis disconnected for two and a half months. After ignoring us for most of the time the overbilling occurred, two and a half years, the City of Houston finally sent people in the last year to 5322 DeLang Lane to inspect the meter. On at least two of these visits, the meter was said to have been changed out, as stated by Heath Consultants and City of Houston employees. On at least one visit after the meter was said to have been replaced, the City of Houston tested the new meter. On October the 9th, 2009, the meter was tampered with, stepped on, and the pipe was broken, resulting in our having to replace the pipe, a repair that a plumber would charge $500 to repair. Three days later, the City of Houston turned off the water. Even though it was never requested, in October of 2009, the City of Houston came to the residence at 5318 Delane to test out the meter. The City of Houston employee who performed the test stated that the test showed that the meter at 5318 Delane Lane operated properly. Please be advised that we have video evidence proving that the City of Houston overbilled the account located at 5322 Delane. Please also be advised that we will be posting the video evidence along with supporting documentation on YouTube, local and national news, as well as publishing to our website, www.houstoncorruption.org. Ms. Jones, according to your campaign, you are both a hero and a champion of rights. Your campaign promised that you would fight for corruption, fight corruption, and stand up for your constituents. As of the date of this letter, the water service at 5322 DeLang Lane has been off for two and a half months now. The billing has been disputed for over two and a half years. We need results now. As a member of City Houston Council, the buck stops with you. Will you continue to allow your constituents to go without water utilities over a disputed bill? Will you allow the City of Houston to continue what appears to be racketeering, forcing customers to pay disputed bills because they know there is no other water utility? Is it possible that the City of Houston purposefully broke the pipe from the meter to the home? And was this intentional retribution for standing against the City of Houston? We vow that the corruption in the City of Houston will be revealed. Sincerely, Ivy J. Rashke, Derek S. Roberts, and Richard McDonald. And finally, we have a number of various bills showing that even though the water was turned off on October the 12th, 2009, the City of Houston has continued to charge the account at 5322 delaying extra money over what the final bill was on a continual basis. All of this information and more can be found at my website, www.houstonwatercorruption.com, which will be up within the next couple of days. Thank you. All right, so in conclusion, I remind you that in the letter that I wrote to Mayor Bill White, we stated that Centerpoint Energy had cut off the gas to my mom's house eight years ago. Imagine living without gas in a house that has no hot water, no dryer for your clothes, 
no hot water for showers, no stove for cooking. Imagine how much water are you going to use in a house like that, especially in the winter time, say months of October, November, and December. How many showers are you going to take with no hot water? How many meals are you going to cook without a stove? So how much water can you possibly be using in a house? Um, I told you in Jolanda Jones's letter that the meter was read and accurately tested according to the city of Houston at my house, 5318 Delang. And in that, they said that the meter at my house was working perfectly fine. So that means when I disconnected the water hose from my sprinkler, hooked it into my mom's house, and then opened up the valve to her house, it means every single bit of water that ran through that water hose into my mom's house ran through the meter that the city of Houston attested worked properly. Now, with that being the case, you may be wondering, how did that affect my bill? After all, we're saying that the city of Houston's been overcharging my mom. How did my bill go up? Well, I'll tell you, it went up about 20 bucks. So while my mom was being charged 40 45 50 60 dollars for her water, the same exact water that she was using that came through my water hose into her house cost 20 bucks when I paid the bill. Thank you.